Hey guys, uh, in this video we shall discuss the transform and its ROC and its ROC of a finite length a right sided sequence. Okay, so we will just take up an example and let me just try to convince you with that example. So say, say I have a se sequence x of n is equal to 1, 3, 2, 1. Just randomly I have taken this sequence and my arrow mark is at n equal to 1. What do you mean by this? This is the sample at n equal to 0, right? Whenever I put the arrow mark, that is the sample at n equal to 0. Okay. So if I try to sketch it, 0, 1, 2, 3. At 0 it is 1, at 1 it is 3, at 2 it is 2, and at 3 it is 1. So it is 1, 3, 2, 1. This is n. So this is of finite length, right? And this is a right-sided sequence. And how did I say that it is a right-sided sequence? Because all the samples are lying right to the sample at n equal to 0, right? So there is no samples at negative values of n. I have samples only at positive values of n. Therefore, it is a right-sided sequence. Fine. So it is a finite length right-sided sequence. We shall try to find its Z-transform and ROC and we will see what do we get. Okay. So, solution. So, what is the equation for Z-transform? Uh, bilateral Z-transform. It is X of Z. We usually call it as Z-transform of X of N, which is X of Z, which is equal to summation N varying from minus infinity to infinity X of N Z power minus N. We saw this in our previous video, introduction to the transform, right? Okay, so this is equal to what? Summation. Now, n is varying from minus infinity to infinity, but here in our example, it is varying from where to where? 0 to 3, right? So, n is equal to 0 to 3, x of n, z power minus n. Fine. Now, what is this sample? This sample is x of 0, and what is this sample? This sample is x of 1. What is this sample? x of 2, and this is x of 3. So, if I expand this summation, when n equal to 0, it is x of 0 into z power minus 0 plus x of 1 into z power minus 1 plus x of 2 into z power minus 2 plus and the last value is x of 3 into z power minus 3, right? And this is equal to what? What is the value of x of 0? That is 1. z power minus 0 is 1, right? Plus what is the value of x of 1? x of 1 is 3 into z power minus 1 plus x of 2 is 2 into z power minus 1 plus x of 3 is 1 into z power minus 3. So, this is minus 2. Okay. So, this is the z transform of a finite length right sided sequence. Whenever it is a right sided sequence, the power of z will be negative. Fine. If the sequence is left sided, then the power of z will be positive. That we will see in the next problem. Okay. In while discussing finite length left sided sequence, I will let you know. So, whenever it is a right sided sequence, the power z, z is actually negative. Fine. Okay. So, I can put it in a box because this is the result of or this is a z transform of the sequence x of n. Okay. Next question is what is its ROC? Right. Now, so uh, in the introduction video, I said something about the ROC, right? What did I say? It is nothing but it is the values of z values of z for which x of z remains finite. Fine. So, if I just put, put uh, if I go to the z plane, I have to go to z plane because I have converted a sequence into the z plane from x of n to x of z, right? So, this is real part of z. This is imaginary part of z. So, this is 0. Fine. Now, so you pick any value in the z plane and put that value here, you should get finite values. What and all the values of z do you get for this equation as a finite value? Those are actually region of convergence. Okay. And if, if there is any value in this z plane for which if I put that value here, if you get infinity there, then that is not 
actually that z is not actually comes under the region of convergence fine so i'll give an example uh, i can take complex number just but to make the example simpler i will consider only real numbers so that uh, convincing for me is easier okay say if i take all positive values all positive real values will this be finite let me just write this x of z as 1 plus 3 by z right plus 2 by z square plus 1 by z cube i can write like this no because it is z power minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 so i can write like this okay if i give z equal to 1 so it is is it nothing but 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 it remains finite if i give z equal to 10 this remains finite 3 by 10 plus 2 by 10 square plus 1 by 10 cube if I give z equal to 100, this remains finite. Right? If I give z is equal to infinity also, this remains finite. Why? Because uh, anything divided by infinity is 0, right? Okay, so if 3 by infinity plus 2 by infinity square plus 1 by infinity cube, this becomes 0. Fine. Okay. If I give z is equal to negative value, this for example, if I z if I give z equal to minus ten, three d by minus ten plus two d by minus ten square plus one d by minus ten cube, so this remains finite. If I give minus hundred, remains finite. If I give minus thousand, remains finite, right? So the values of z, those values of z for which this x of z, this function of z, remains finite, are actually region of convergence. Fine. Now. Next question is, what is the value of z here for which this goes to infinity? That is the question. Okay. So, the only value of z for which this goes to infinity is, is what? At z equal to 0. As soon as I put z equal to 0 to this equation, what happens? 3 by 0, 2 by 0, anything to the power 0 is infinity. So, infinity plus infinity plus infinity, it goes to infinity okay so region of convergence this for this finite length right sided sequences entire z plane this covers entire z plane you give any value in the z plane it remains finite it entire z plane except at z equal to infinity not for this so this for this z equal to 0 comma x of z goes to infinity Fine. So this value at z equal to 0, it does not comes under ROC. But other values in the z plane, whatever the value you pick, including the complex numbers, right? If you pick somewhere here also, it is in the form of a plus jb form, right? If you take in, the, in this point a plus jb form, including the complex number, whatever the values of z you give here, this remains finite except at z equal to 0 ok so therefore therefore ROC is entire entire z plane except at z equal to 0 so I can say or in the other words I can say ROC is magnitude of z is greater than 0 ok so, for greater than 0, all values of z in this z plane, x of z will converge. So, that is the region of convergence. Fine. We shall see for finite length, finite length, left sided sequence. Okay. We will take an example. Say, x of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 2. Fine. And my arrow mark is here. When I say arrow mark is here, this is at n equal to 0. Right? So, if I plot this sequence, so to 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. At 0, it is 2. At minus 1, it is 3. At minus 2, it is 2. At minus 3, it is 1. This is n. Since the samples are lying in the negative uh, values of n, so it's actually a left sided sequence, right? And it's a finite length, right? So it's a finite length left sided sequence. So what is the z transform of this sequence? x of z is equal to what? 
What is the formula? Summation n varying from minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n. So x of z is equal to summation which is varying from where to where n varying from minus 3 to 0 x of n z power minus n. So if I expand this summation x of minus 3 z power 3 plus x of minus 2 z power minus into minus plus z square plus x of minus 1 z plus x of 0 z power minus n. So this is nothing but what? What is the value of x of minus 3? It is 1 z cube. It is 2 z square plus x of minus 1 is 3 z plus x of 0 is 2. Fine. So this is the z transform of a finite length left sided sequence. Now what about its ROC? Uh, if I plot the, uh, if I plot the z plane, so this is the real part of z. This is imaginary part of z. Fine. Now, what is the what is that one value of z in this z plane for which this equation x of z goes to infinity? There is only one value, right? Which is what z equal to infinity. If I put z equal to infinity in this equation, x of right hand side of the x of z goes to infinity. But other than infinity, if I give any value in the z plane, in this z plane, including 0 as well, this remains finite, right? If I give 0, what happens? 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 it remains finite. And if I give 100,000 to any positive value, it remains finite. Any negative finite value, it remains finite. But the only thing is, if I give z equal to infinity, this goes to infinity, right? So therefore, therefore, what is ROC? ROC is magnitude of z. It is entire z plane, except at z equal to infinity. Magnitude of z is less than infinity. All the all the regions is actually region of convergence for this z transform. Next, finite length. Double sided sequence. So say, say I'll, I'll take an example x of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 5. I'll put a remark here, right? Is this a double sided sequence? Yes. Why? Because I have samples at positive values of n as well as negative values of n. This is at n equal to 0, right? And is this a finite sequence? Yes, it's a finite sequence. Correct, no? So if I try to sketch it, 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, it is 1, it is 2, it is 3, 2, this is 1, and this is 5. So it's a fi finite length double sided sequence. Okay? We shall see what is its set transform x of z is equal to what is the formula summation n varying from where to where minus 2 to 3 right minus 2 to 3 x of n z power minus n if i expand this what happens at n equal to minus 2 x of minus 2 z to the power minus into minus plus square right x of minus 1 z plus x of 0 1 plus x of 1 z to the power minus 1 plus x of 2 z power minus 2 plus x of 3 z power minus 3 right as i told you in the previous videos in the previous second video i guess for all the negative values of n the power of z is positive if all the positive values of n the power of z will be negative okay so what is x of z now it is nothing but uh, x of minus 2 which is 1 1 times z square plus x of minus 1 which is 2 2 times z plus x of 0 which is 3 3 times 1 plus x of 1 which is 2 2 times z power minus 1 plus x of 2 which is 1 1 times z square plus x of 3 is 5 into z power minus 3 so this is z power minus 2 fine so therefore this is the transform of a finite length double sided sequence right now what about roc this is this is basically combination of finite length left sided sequence and finite length right sided sequence 
right? And what is the ROC of a finite length right sided sequence? It is entire Z plane except at Z equal to 0, right? And what is the uh, ROC of a finite length left sided sequence? It is entire Z plane except at Z equal to infinity. So, ROC of a finite length double sided sequence is the combination of those two. In the sense, uh, if if I write x of z as something like this, z square plus 2z plus 3 plus 2 by z plus 1 by z square plus 5 by z cube. And if I just write the z plane, the real part of z and imaginary part of z. Now this, this uh, function of z will have a finite value will have a finite value you pick any point in this set plane you get the finite value except at two point right what are those two values of z in this z plane for which this goes to infinity one value is at this point right if i put z equal to zero what happens two by zero plus one by zero square plus five by zero square this goes to infinity right and one more point is if you put z equal to infinity in the z plane what happens and infinity square plus 2 times infinity plus 3 this goes to infinity but other values of z except at z equal to 0 and infinity you, you pick any point in the z plane this remains finite okay so therefore roc roc for this sequence is magnitude of z is in between 0 to infinity it lies in between 0 and infinity okay